His name was Timmy Dean Cormany Jr., a grandfather, a dad, a United States Marine. He was a good man. And this was Arthur Ivory. He served the United States Air Force. The two men, both from Marion, Indiana, didn't know each other, but they have a lot in common. How did you find out about my father? They are two of more than 14,000 veterans nationwide who died during the pandemic and never received their committal services. So it's kind of heartbreaking that he didn't get that in return for his 20 years of service that he put in. I'm sorry. It means those veterans, many of whom died unexpectedly, My dad was healthy as a horse. were buried alone. They wouldn't even let anyone be there for when he was like lowered in. No taps, no folding of the flag, no 21 gun salute. It breaks my heart. Having that celebration of life that the military gives is just, it's comforting because, you know, he did that 20 years and he earned that. Has this ever happened before? No, it has, it has never, it has never happened before. The National Cemetery Administration stopped burying vets with full honors back in March because of the health crisis. Families couldn't have who they wanted at the service. They were limited to 10 people by CDC guidelines. The rifle squads, which are made up of veteran service organization veterans and, and, and those, they, they themselves started to be concerned about their own health. But tonight, they promise we are going to make it work. We're going to make that happen. They are going to make it right. We're committed to taking care of you like we always have. With at least 19 people awaiting services at Marion National Cemetery and one in New Albany, the cemetery administration plans to eventually offer Indiana families individual funerals or a group memorial. A chance to thank these Hoosier heroes for serving our country. I'm proud of the fact that he served his country. And a patriotic final farewell. If you could say anything to your dad right now, what would it be? I forgive you and I miss you. I would tell him I love you. Memorial Day kind of taking a different tenor this year. Just a reminder, national cemeteries do remain open, so if you'd like to pay your respects, just make sure to practice social distancing. We will stay on top of this, and the minute we hear about any makeup memorial services, we will, of course, let you know. In the newsroom, I'm Angela Brower, CBS 4 News.